watching today's program Master of Crafts, natural handmade caramel from Lviv Masters, lollipops, sculptures, 3D flowers and other edible compositions that are produced right before the eyes of visitors. How do Ukrainian confectioners win the hearts of sweet teeth all around the world? The UA TV shooting team is going to Caramelville to see exactly what Ukrainian sweets are made of. The US Navy aircraft carrier Gerald Ford is the largest in the world. On its board, there is a nuclear reactor and berths for 4,500 crew members. This floating city weighs 100,000 tons. So what do confectionery goods have to do with it? During one day, all people on the earth eat as much sugar as five such aircraft carriers weigh. And sugar consumption continues to increase every year. Over the last 100 years, it has doubled. It is quite natural that in the 20th century, doctors argued that sugar is the cause of many diseases. They even called it white death. However, modern research shows that the root of the problem is somewhat of a different kind. Firstly, it is natural for people to eat sweets. In terms of evolution, humans are not that far different from first Homo sapiens, who survived in the wilderness. The taste of sweets is an indicator of carbohydrates, which provide the human body with quick energy and have minimal processing costs. Since then, people created a civilization with much more comfortable living conditions. And now there is almost nowhere to expend excess bodily energy, thus the risk of ailing from diabetes. Secondly, due to the reduction in the price of sugar, the amount of this product has increased everywhere. According to scientists, the matter is that additional sweets, not natural products like fruits and vegetables, can reduce the level of a person's metabolism. The trouble is that products with high sugar content are quite fattening, so their consumption can lead to excess weight. On the wave of the talks about the harm of sugar, its substitutes have gained popularity, but as it turned out, they also had a negative effect on one's health. Although these artificial sweeteners are less caloric, researches conducted by Dr. David Ludwig in the US indicated that they had an alarming side effect. The people who consume a lot of sweeteners have a blunted taste, that's why they eat less fruits and vegetables and other healthy but not very delicious food. So modern dietitians are not against people eating sweets, but the main thing is to know their limits and attentively read the list of ingredients on packages. It is better to exclude certain sweets from your ration. But if you really have desire for them, you should choose sweets made of natural products without contents of harmful food additives. There is a whole chain of confectionaries in Ukraine, where hundreds of different kinds of sweets are made of caramel. They consist of more than two-thirds of sugar. You can do a lot of things with caramel, different sculptures, a variety of sugar candies and figurines. We can also make marshmallows, sherbet and iris. Founders of the workshop try to do everything possible in order for it to be not only a confectionery but also a special place with its own legend. Meanwhile, Lviv is not just a city, but also the crossroads of many stories. This is a caramel workshop, which was founded in Lviv and which has its own caramel story. This is a caramel city with its inhabitants. We wanted to do something interesting for adults, children, tourists and residents of Lviv. What is the difference between these caramel workshops and usual stores of sweets? Why were these sweets worth their weight in gold a few hundred years ago? And how did Ukrainian confectionaries turn sugar candies production into a real show? Coming up next in the program. Successful Lviv restaurateurs have already learned a lesson. Something new will be popular in a city where there are a lot of such institutions only if it has an interesting concept or story. It can be said that in 2012 there were that many confectionery shops in Lviv, but Artem Khmiz and his business partners decided that if ever they work with caramel, it will be something unusual. By traveling through Europe, we often see traditional institutions where we can see the production process and make something with our own hands. In these stores, you can not only buy goods, but also get positive emotions. We saw similar directions in France and the Czech Republic and decided to create something in our own format. The main thing is not sweets, but the impressions. A person will forget about shopping in a supermarket, even if they bought 2 kilograms of candies there. Therefore, we should turn a visit to a confectionery into a real event, in order for something to happen there all the time and so that people want to capture it on video. The fairy tale we try to create, and it seems to me we succeeded in our confectionery workshops, gives an opportunity to feel all emotions and a holiday like in our childhood.
because every adult liked candies in their childhood. By visiting our workshops and delving into this special atmosphere, adults feel pleasant memories from their childhood and reminisce about those years with sweet pleasure. This is how the concept of Caramelville emerged. This is a fairy tale city, fragments of which are in every caramel workshop. And even if it's not edible and made of glass, but almost nobody can pass by the window without stopping to check it out. Soon it turned out that traveling back to childhood is not only a way to attract guests, but also to involve employees. Brand manager of one of the main caramel workshops, Alexei Hromak, exchanged his university specialty for a dream. I graduated from the Institute of Information and Communication Networks, but my heart was more in confection making. That's why I decided to try my hand in this sphere. First, I worked as a usual caramel maker for two years. I liked it very much. Especially for UA TV, Oleksiy and his colleagues arrange a caramel show for which the confectionaries are so famous. How it is made Classical caramel is made of cane sugar. Even the name of this product comes from the Latin word canamella, meaning sugar cane. European confectioners are still arguing with each other about which country was first to start melting and boiling sugar with the addition of treacle, so that its crystal structure would not be suspended. Caramel candies on sticks became popular in the old world around the 15th century. At that time, only aristocrats could afford to buy caramel because the overseas cane sugar was so rare and expensive and beet sugar had not yet appeared. 500 years ago, such a big piece of caramel which is rolled on the confectionery table in the workshop, could be bought for the same weight of silver. Since then, the logistics and production methods, starting from boiling of caramel, have improved. Caramel made in Ukraine contains several kinds of sugar and corn syrup, but the masters keep the precise recipe a secret. We add aromatic natural oils to hot syrup, which has a temperature of 180 degrees above zero. After that, we mix it up, 70% of aromatic oils vaporize. Then we pour this caramel on a cold granite slab, which was previously oiled with rice oil. Caramel gets cold very quickly, so caramel makers have only half an hour to make lollipops, even on a heated table. The candies already have taste. Now we need to choose colors. Romak says the local confectioners use only natural dyes and flavors. I am responsible for the quality of product, because children are our main consumers. Green dye is made of chlorophyll. This is an extract from the leaves of sorrel, nettle and spinach. Red dye is an extract of black carrot. There is such a kind of carrot. It is used mainly in medicine and for medicinal purposes. Yellow is made of turmeric root and black is vegetable charcoal. We also use brown. This is burnt sugar. But there is no white natural dye. That's why a special device is used to create the white color of caramel and make the shade of the dye to be lighter. We stretch this high-boiled sugar mass by using this big crook. As a result of stretching, air bubbles get inside. In this way, the caramel is enriched with oxygen and becomes white. Caramel mass should not cool down to a temperature below 19 degrees Celsius, otherwise it will cease to be so elastic and will start cracking. That's why caramel makers constantly use confectionery burners and they look like welders. Caramel masters can give an original color relation to every piece of caramel. After that, the masters cut little cooled stock material into pieces. These are called lollipops. Today, the candies with the logo of UA TV are in the assortment of the workshop. We made letters of a black dye on a white background by using the method of braid application. We have to do everything very fast and have a good sense of proportions and colors. This is a handicraft, so we can't get the exact weight proportions. So this is why we should have a good sense of proportions. 
a quick and well-coordinated handwork by the eye, seems to be so simple, but actually it requires several months of training. Caramel makers master not only confectionery art, but also the elements of the show. This is a so-called caramel show that always gets visitors wondering, but the local masters do not want to make all of their works in the presence of consumers. However, UATV managed to get behind the stage to the kitchen, where masters cook 3D flowers designed by Oleksiy Hromak. Confectioner Marta has already prepared a jelly paste. First, the girl warms it up in a microwave oven, and after that, she stirs it to prevent it from boiling over. When jelly paste is melted, it means that it is ready and we can add different dyes to it. We make the core of the flour of red dye and carmine. Marta draws out the jelly with the dye in a syringe and fills it in a cone form. In such a way, she makes the main gelatin body, which can be transparent or any color. Sometimes we create new colors by mixing two or three other colors. We also add a bit of red color, extract of the black carrot, in order to create a very intense fiery orange color. To make petals of 3D flower, Marta uses another fitting on the syringe. We carefully pierce the jelly base. To make green leaves, we add green dye and extract of chlorophyll. Masters have to inject color jelly accurately and quickly, otherwise they will have to melt it in a microwave oven again. Within several minutes we have a 3D flower made of usual jelly and dyes. While it looks like a souvenir, it is totally edible. Meanwhile, masters began to make sculptural work in the showroom. Confectioners have to make a rose to a custom order. The process of creation is almost similar to the production of caramel. But in this case, caramel masters sculpt a scape and petals of the sweet mass and then they melt them, if necessary, and finally they put them together. It seems so easy at first glance, but only experienced caramel makers take individual orders. Every workshop has its collection of sweet flowers. However, Lviv caramel makers do not create art that is inaccessible for ordinary people. On the contrary, every day, masters give several classes where adults, as well as kids, can learn the basics of caramel making. Participants are offered to try to create something of stock material that is used by experienced masters. Visitors of the workshop can use their imagination and skills. Kids may do everything they wish with their own hands. We develop interest in master classes and promote this culture in every possible way. But even if children can't go to Lviv, we go to their cities and hold our master classes. In this comfortable atmosphere, they can make a present for themselves or for their parents. Master classes can be one of the forms of charity. Within the framework of different social projects, Ukrainian caramel makers present sweets to children throughout the country. We sent a lot of presents to kids who live in eastern Ukraine. We gave them gifts, in particular on the occasion of major holidays, St. Nicholas Day and the New Year. We also host a lot of groups of kids in Lviv. Besides that, we participate in a project titled My Father Defends Ukraine. It is held for kids from the Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts. But nobody will conduct an excursion to a factory for them, because there is no such manufacturing. Confectioners produce the whole production right in their workshops. 
Due to such decentralization, Artem Khmiz has already opened workshops in 12 cities of Ukraine and two confectionaries abroad. We have already opened confectionery workshops in the Czech Republic, in the city of Liberec and in Spain in Seville. We also plan to open a chain of confectionaries in other countries. We are going to open our workshops in Asia. We do everything possible to enlarge our Caramelville. Such an idea of a caramel city made it possible not only to establish a chain of confectionaries, but also to create a place where children's dreams come true, where everyone should remember about their health and refrain from overeating sweets.